also talk about the midterm, what will be there in the midterm, and how you should prepare for that. And it will be next week, the midterm will be next week, and it will be like for three hours. It will include everything that we have covered, particularly the timers, feedback, PWMs, debouncing, and interrupts. These are must, right? So, whatever you can skip is polling, right? Because polling was too uh, initial in the semester, so you can skip that. And today, we will go over lab 5, and it is due next week before the midterm, right? So you guys can come and show me the demo in my office hours, right? Lab 5 instructions were posted last week, so it includes the keypad, the uh, PWM concepts, and you will apply these on the uh, LEDs. So four LEDs will be used. The user has to enter the pulse width modulation, the PWM value, via keypad. The keypad is also provided to you guys. It should be inside the kit. I will explain how you should connect the keypad with the uh, microcontroller. So let me explain first the MS, uh, the keypad thing, right? Uh, you guys have been provided with a 4x4 keypad, which means it has 16 keys, right? From here, 4 in each row and 4 in each column. So what you will do, you will need 8 pins to connect this keypad, 4 for input and the remaining 4 will be the output from the keypad, it means it will be the input to the MSP430, right? These four are coming from the MSP code, so it means the direction of these four pins have to be outward, right? And if they are going to the MSP, it means the direction of the MSP should be input, right? And we also know that anything that goes into the MSP pin, we need to pull up, right, that input as well. So we need to apply the internal pull up resistors as well. All right, it means all of them are connected to the VCC, right? Okay. How you will do the scanning? How you know that a button has been pressed? Till now, you guys have worked on on the on the dedicated one button, right? You have not worked on uh, something like more than one button. So in keypad, there are 16 buttons. You need, you need to decode uh, those buttons via these inputs, right? So how to do that? There is a method where you apply the vectors here, right? So let's say, for instance, we use for two pins for an output, right? For instance. And let's say we use for three pins for reading from the keypad, right? We need four pins of port three, right? So the direction of those four pins need to be zero, right? P3 DIR for those pins should be zero, right? Input. Also, you need to enable the internal resistor, right? Which means P3 REN has to be enabled, right? Internal resistor. On top of that, uh, we have the P2 DIR has to be equal to, let's say if this is a bit 0, 1, 2, 3, so it means it should be bit 0, bit 1, bit 2, bit 3, right? So we have to change the direction to the output mode, right? Okay, so how to do the scanning? First of all, you will apply a vector to these four pins. It could be like this, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. Sorry. 
right? Should be zero one 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 zero, right? So you will apply the first vector to here at the P two out, right? So it means it has to go to P two out, right? And we are using only four pins. It means it should go to the LSB four bits, right? Okay. What happens is that when we apply this vector, for instance, here, right? So it means any button that is pressed in this column, right? It will be connected to zero, right? Because we apply zero here, right? So any button here in this column, any one, two, three, four, right? That will send a zero there to the interrupt service routine, right? Yes. 